Hello everyone. So today we are going to start SAP S4 HANA CO controlling module whole training and we are going to cover this whole training on the version 2021. So what is CO? So in the FI we have covered the external reporting but in the CO we will cover the internal reporting. In the FI we are going to prepare in the balance sheet and profit and loss, cash flows, changes of equity. So in the internal reporting we are going to analyze the internal reports like how much uh, cost each department have consumed, how well we are performing in certain market, how how much profit each product is consume each product is collecting so for that purpose we are going to use co module so co is used for managing and recording of cost and providing information to the management for internal assessment and performance so the first component is cost element accounting so the general ledger accounts classified as revenue and expenditure are called cost elements. So two types of cost elements are available in CO. One is primary cost element, another one is secondary cost element. So primary cost element is used to carry the cost from CO, from FI to CO. But the secondary cost element is used to carry the cost within CO module from one cost object to another cost object. So second one is cost center accounting. So the basic functionality of cost center accounting is collect and redistribute the department wise cost. We are also going to analyze the activity price using the cost center accounting. And we can also prepare the plan versus actual reports in the cost center accounting. Initially at the start of the year we are going to plan the plan cost for the whole year and then after at the year end we are going to calculate the variance and analyze the difference between actual and plan cost so product costing third third component is the product costing product costing is used to calculate the cost of the product so multiple Product costs are available. One is standard cost, another one plan cost, and actual cost. So standard cost is the cost of one unit. Plan cost is the cost of one production order, and the actual cost is the actual cost consumed in the production order. So multiple scenarios are available and covered in SAP. So one is make to stock. Another one is make to order. Make to stock is used for the industries. Those are continuously manufacturing irrespective of, irrespective of sales order. So we like in FMCG we are continuously manufacturing the products. So either we have received the sale order for that product or not. So for that scenario we are going to use make to stock. So make to stock is divided into two sub scenarios one is product cost by order another one is product cost by period product cost by order is used when we are going to use multiple products like in FMCG we are going to use multiple products and a production order is used for discrete manufacturing and process order is used for product process industries like in beverage industry we are going to use the products process order in the manufacturing industry of uh, chairs furniture cars automobiles we are going to use the production order so product cost by period is used in the industry where we are going to use only where we are going to manufacture manufacture only one product like in the sugar mill we are only use manufacturing one sugar so for that industry we are going to use product cost by period so sale order is sales order costing is used for the scenario of make to order when we are going to receive the sales order then we will start the manufacturing of the product so like aerospace industry we are going to use the make to order scenario so copa another one another component is 
profitability analysis it is also called copa it is used for analysis of profitability in different dimensions like how much the profitability of our company in the regions how much the profitability of each product how much profitability we are going to generate from each customer so for that purpose we are going to use the profitability copa so copa is divided into two components so one is account based profitability analysis and the second one is costing based so in the account based we are going to collect the values using the general ledger accounts and then in the costing base we are going to collect the values using value fields so we will also cover this in detail when we are discussing the copa configuration and end user process so sap is going to recommend the account based copa and the more refined version is the margin analysis used for the copa account based copa so another component is internal order so it is used to analyze the cost at the lower level like how much the cost we have consumed for any particular project or we are also using this in the investment order so internal order is divided into two parts one is real internal order another one is statistical internal order so the main difference between two is the real in the real internal order we are going to define the settlement rule so we will define where we are going to distribute the the cost of internal order so in the statistical order we we are not going to define that statistical rules so another component is profit center accounting so the cost centers are used to collect the cost but the profit center will also collect the revenue so for that purpose we are going to use the profit center accounting and it is used for both revenue and cost analysis like we want to analyze the profit from for one material so we will create that material as a profit center and another component is material ledger so material ledger so in the above screen we have discussed about the standard cost so system is going to maintain the materials at their standard cost so we at that time we are not so that standard so value valuing the material at the standard cost have one disadvantage so that disadvantage is that we are not following the is2 standard so for that purpose sap introduced the material ledger actual costing so what the system will do it will it will evaluate all the materials at their actual cost so after that we are going to use we are we have followed the is2 requirement to evaluate the materials at the lower of cost and and rv so after using the material ledger actual costing we have evaluate the materials at their actual cost so after that the materials will evaluate at their actual price so that's all for this video so in this video we have just overview the co and co module sub components so what what are their usage so in the coming uh, coming video we are going to configure all the business process and process all the business scenarios so thank you for watching